Okay, back to the UK guide saga. So we have it already boxed. The shipping label is ready to go. As the uh, yellow member pointed out when I did the post, Mikey did it the hard way. Well, that's what happens when you don't have the rest of the gun and someone just sends you the guide and you don't know what goes with what. You're stuck with making what you see. At any rate, with the label on this side, we are now going to open this box back up. I called my wife today and I said, don't mail that box. Did you mail the box? She said, no. So I said, I'm going to make the guide over. Why? Because that's what you do when your name is on something. Um, the guide I made is fine. It's It probably would have worked. I didn't particularly like it because of the design of being Delrin and the way the pins were so close to the edge. But, you know, now that the uh, yellow member got to me on that post to share what you can do it all makes sense now like I said I don't have the receiver I don't have anything I don't know if a trigger's going to get interrupted but it's exactly what he's describing is it just like the hatching guide um, the old hatching guide and, and here's one here where you just drill the hole in the back and then of course you're, you'll you'll trim this down to fit the spring guide and actually I have a couple that were made for hatsons that um, you know, didn't work out. Uh, they were for the Tomahawk projects. So back out of the bag comes the spring and all the parts. And um, when I did that guy's guide, I, I wrapped it and boxed it so it was bulletproof. There's no excuses. These guys, they ship rifles. They do all this nonsense. And, and it's, you know, I had a beautiful R10 that came to me in pieces. And the thing looked like it was mint. So, you know, here we're talking about a guide, a spring guide. And I boxed it and wrapped it, as you can see, to make it bulletproof. So let's get to this. If this is the guide, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, this just basically is air gun integrity. You're going to do something, then do your best. Do it right. And um, do right by the guy you're taking care of. So that's just the American way of doing things, or any way of doing things, really. American, German. So here's the guide we painstakingly made, and this probably would be fine now. It fits great. Everything about it is what I want. So what we can do now is it basically becomes just like a hatsing guide. I don't have the end of the receiver. Oh, I do have an end of a receiver. Here's a hatsing end of the receiver. It has that same tit, except for this is all plastic. And this, this is all metal, so beyond that pin is the metal tit. So basically, we can make the guide look just like So we have the guide ready to go. All I have to do is bevel it. Uh, lay on the inside edge there, and the outside edge. just a slight bevel on the spring side. Why? Because we care. And as it turned out, when all said and done, it looks, like I said, just like the Hatson guide, pretty much like that. And there it is. So, here's our fit. And this is a... Uh, non-fact spring so the power is going to be lower so i made this spring guide to fit the spring so it's not as tight as it would be say if this was an r9 with a brand new hornet spring so when you tune and work the gun your gun's getting tuned and worked for whatever you're putting into it follow me because you don't want this holding the spring back but you want it to do its job and with that it's done um I just need to bevel this a little bit, and that's it. So let's stick it in there and bevel it. We'll get this shipped out tomorrow. I don't even like working after work. During the week, I don't like to touch anything. I, I work five days a week, and believe me, the minute I step my feet on the ground, it's go. All systems go. And the adrenaline's flowing, so when I get done, I want to be done.
and there you have it the holes in the back a little hole in the front though but that's all right because i had to actually this was a hats and guide that i made longer from the um the tomahawk project over here and being that i only need one tomahawk spring for my gun that's going to be undersized so the power is going to be lower and dave i know you don't remember this who's getting the full-sized vortex spring where he's going to have full power I was able to steal one of the guides, which I made extra long to begin with, and I was able to actually work that, so it made my life easier. So here's what it looks like now. We do away with this pin system here. Um, the pin was a pain. And now that, I don't have to worry about that, and this goes on there just like that. It'll rotate. I don't know if he has a washer for the spring. Maybe I'll make him a quick little washer you know, so that you have the spring up against the washer that'll freely move and not just count on the guide. That that's, only makes common sense. So I'm going to make that ring form, pack this all up, and get it out of here tomorrow uh, in the mail. So with that, problem solved. Another happy air gunner and um, people that are doing their thing that is right. That's what matters. Take care. Well, this is it. We finally made the guide. I just want to throw this in. Now, this is according to the nice uh, yellow member who threw this information at me. Um, because I don't have the gun apart. I don't have the gun. The guy sent the guide and one thing led to another. But if he said that the uh, spring guide here, uh, the piston's going to come back like this. I guess and then this needs to fit inside of it so with that said i made that so that fits inside of it i like i said i didn't have the gun apart i don't have the gun i'm just trying to give a guy his guide but the yellow member uh, gave me this information and then um he mentioned that uh, you have to watch the thickness of this i believe that's what he said but i made another let's see if i can get it out here real quick I made this with a, I'm looking at the camera to see if I'm in there. I made this with another friction ring so that the spring can rotate on that and not the back of the guide. I'll tell the buyer, um, not the buyer, but I'll tell the owner, um, if that doesn't work, take it out of the gun. I don't know. I don't have the gun. But anyway, that's what it looks like, see? And then uh, it fits on here. I took this and sanded that all down because that was real edgy from that pin. And now it goes on there like that. Um, maybe you can see it better this way. See? So here's your spring fit. Um, fits, fits really nice, but it's, it's not as strong, like I said before, as if it was a R9 with a uh, replacement hornet spring and that's it now i'm really happy i'll put this back in the box and um we'll see how he makes out now i have the beam and c1 so later on i'll get to do mine whenever i get to it and uh, we'll take it from there also all the edges here are beveled front and back if you're going to have a piston that goes back that far that's what the guy said um, well, then you want to bevel those edges, of course. Everything should be machined for a machined look. And, and even the back here is slightly beveled. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but it just looks nicer. So this is going to go like this. And that's his guide. So thanks for hanging out. Uh, it's just some air gun stuff. Uh, I think we all should share this air gun stuff. I love it. Take care.